Food pantries like this one at Father Fred in Traverse City could see an increase in families looking for help this fall. And we'll probably see an uptick in the number of families coming in because some families, when we know that only a quarter of those below the poverty level are really seeking assistance, we might start to see some of those families who have never asked for help before. The State Department of Human Services estimates 150,000 families will suddenly lose an average of $76 per month in federal food stamps. And that's a significant amount of money when you consider that people who get food assistance get about $116 per person. And that's it on a monthly basis. A spokesman for DHS says the state simply couldn't justify spending the $21 per household to families who didn't have utilities to pay. Mary Maroy says investing in families living in poverty is easily justified. I think that if the state invested about $8 million, which is what it would take uh, in order to be able to supplement the heating assistance dollars so that people could qualify for the full amount of food assistance, that would re what would re come back to the state is about $250 million two people in the form of food assistance. In Grand Traverse County, Tom Kramer for Up North Live News on ABC 29 and 8.